Here's the setup we got I was talking about, and this board right here is all it's going to do is keep from putting a, a dented place in this beam because we want this beam to stay pretty because it's going to be sanded and then polyurethane, and you're going to see it the whole time. So, all right. Yep, and I got it. Let the pressure off the jack just for a minute. Okay. So I don't want to lose it. Ease it back down just a little bit. You got it? Yes. Yes. Now lay it on down. Just for a minute. Let's take this out just for a second. We'll scoop that back in place now over yonder. And then we'll stick it back underneath it and go up with it. Okay. Because I've got it on this side now. We'll get it more clean. All right. We'll be right back. As I mentioned, guys, this is settled house, so you can kind of, I don't know if you can hear it or not, but the floor well, is come over here and look up here. Yeah, come over here. You can see it a little better. You can see the, the gap we've got still, and we're tight here, but you can see the gap we've got, so that's what we've got to get out of it. Right, hold on this so can tweak it in further. Okay. Nice. And remember, if you can't get it to fit, get a bigger hammer. I have to knock that side just a little bit. As you can see here, 
tight right there. He's gonna push this over. I'm gonna hold this. We're gonna try to get that to come up. Going in, you know? No, I think it's bouncing. So you might have to start right here. As bad as I hate to. I just told what you got there to say, lift up this block under. Okay. We're gonna move the safety block up just a little bit. Just to be safe. You're almost just to hold it. Yes, Okay. Actually, straight the line. That's fine. That's safe. Straighten it up just a little bit. There we go. All right. Now, how much more do you need to go up there? Quite a bit. Yeah. Guys, now you can see, as I showed you earlier, how tight our gap is now. And what we've actually done, so we've actually pushed the, uh, we pushed the top of the, uh, pushed the top of the ceiling or the bottom of the floor for the next level up, up just a little bit, take care of the ceiling problem. And now we're tight. And now all we have left to do is get our support beams underneath it, and then the jack will come out. And for those of you who don't know, there's my mom. <laughs> she's camera shy so all right guys here's beam number one support beam we've got it notched and it's going to sit right in there now you can see we've got some electrical going through it's going to have to pass through the beam so we have got a nice little hole drilled all the way through like I said, that one will go there. Then we'll have one about center ways, and then we'll have our other one over here against this wall. And guys, always remember safety first. So what we're doing is we're killing the power to this. And Dad's gonna check it here with his bolt meter real quick, make sure we got a hold of the right thing. And you did not get a hold of the right thing. You still got power on that. So we'll try another one here. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is while he's checking breakers because guys with this you watch the breakers are not labeled as good as they should be in doing this renovation. So what I'm doing is watching the meter right here. That's got it. Did it? Yep. One right below. I know this work is that. Alright. So now we'll get this beam set in. Guys, we're feeding our electrical wire through there. Nice, tight, clean fit. Now that we've got our power killed to it. All right, I'm gonna set it in here if we can. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take it down. Yeah, let me grab the drill real quick. Or this. It's laying out there somewhere. 
top of the budget there. Alas. This will do the job. Which I might actually need that. That'll work. Jack. All right, so we're gonna go up just a little bit more with our jack. Once get a little straighter up, it'll go good. No, no. Yeah. All right, guys, and as I said, if it don't go, get a bigger hammer. And that's got that one in. All right, guys, on to the next side. That'll give us room to get our next beam in. These are gonna be really pretty when they're done. Really pretty when they're done. That red line, let me see it just for a second. And as I mentioned, guys, this is all hand sewn by my dad on his sewing wheel. So right on. Alright guys, we'll get the next one ready to go and then we'll get them with putting it in. 
right, guys, here is the last step to getting this big beam in. Go just a little bit if you can. Okay. needs to come to you just a little bit more. No problem. I think it's still ain't good. You just need to get on going the wrong way. Let's see. All right, we're good right there in level. Just take a measure. All right. That's right outside. Check it this way first. Uh, and then I'm going to check the front one, but it's good. That's fine. It's good anyway, though. Good there, so we're going to let the pressure off. what we started with this morning well there's what we have now a big nice and now it's down to what did you say 18 foot was the length now right at 17 right at 17 okay so it started out as 20 when we sawed it on the mill and now it is a eight inch thick six inch wide support beam that is approximately 17 foot long and guys this sucker is heavy but as you can see everything's in everything's tight and we'll show you a little bit more of the finished finished steps and uh, stuff of this project as we go along but as always guys thanks for tuning in to Elk Ridge Outdoors